the Round Peak region. And uh, he now tours internationally, you know, sometimes with uh, Dirk Powell. I've witnessed yeah. this with my own eyes. You got, it, you got as far as Vermont. And Vermont, internationally, all the way to Vermont. And, <laughs> and, and I heard tell uh, 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 of your exploits in Ireland. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, so, so uh, you, you help pave the way for people to appreciate fostering banjo more in the Emerald Isle, as I've been told. So anyway, why don't you please welcome to the stage. Mr. Riley Boggess. Thank you, Ken. Thank you all. Well, I spent a lot of time as a young man listening to a lot of different banjo players, and I've spent a lot of time as an older man listening to a lot of different banjo players. And one of the ones that I always enjoyed hearing was a gentleman named Doc Boggs. But I had never heard Doc Boggs until I heard Doc Watson. I heard Doc record, Doc's recordings of, of uh, some of the Doc Boggs tunage, and, and one of the ones he did was Country Blues, and, and makes me think about, uh, about old Doc. And, and after, I, after I got to hearing Doc Watson play Doc Boggs, I went back and found Doc Boggs. So sometimes it takes a source to find a source for a source. And, <laughs> but I, oh, <laughs> Doc called me up one day. He said, son, he said, why don't you come up here? And he says, let's go over to the to the convalescent center there and make some music for Rosalie. Rosalie was his wife and she'd had a stroke and she was in the convalescent center up in Boone. And I said, oh, that'll be great, Doc. He said, well, we'll go eat some lunch at my favorite restaurant in Boone. He said, well, then we'll go over there and make some music. And I said, well, all right, that'll be great. We'll go over there and spend some time with Rosalie, about two or three hours, you know, making music and, and just talking and having a good time and got time to leave. And so we, we left and on the way back before we left Boone, Doc says, son, you wanna see my statue? And I said, statue? He says, yeah, yeah. He says, they have put a statue of me up over here in Boone, North Carolina. He said, and on the way over, I said, yeah, let's go. Let's go see it. So on the way over, he, uh, he starts telling me about them putting up a statue. He says, oh, yeah. He says, they were after me for a long time to put this statue up. He says, I wouldn't let them do it. He says, I'm, he says, I'm Doc Watson. He says, I, I don't want no statue. He said, and, and he hated it when people would call him the amazing Doc Watson, the incredible Doc Watson, the great Doc Watson. To him, he was just Doc Watson. Now, old Doc, he's, he's telling me about the statue. He said, I'd let them put it up as long as they'd put a plaque on there that says, Doc Watson, just one of the people. So we get over there, and it's sitting right on King Street, right on the main drag, right down through the middle of, of Boone, North Carolina. Now, this is a sleepy little country mountain town. There's a university there, but most stuff is happening in town at the university, not in the little town. So we get there, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday, and this statue, this bronze statue of Doc is sitting on a bench right there on King Street. And we get out of the car and we go over there to it, and Doc sits down next to himself. <laughs> and he put his arm around himself, and he says, Hello there, old son, it's mighty good to see you. And there's nobody. And then in less than five minutes, there were 75 people surrounding Doc Watson. And... And he was kissing babies and shaking hands and signing autographs for an hour and a half. Now, that's, that's just the way it is when you're just one of the people, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm gonna play, I want to play you this Doc Boggs song called False Hearted Lover Blues. Doc Boggs came from over around Norton, Virginia, in extreme southwestern Virginia. And he was, he was pretty much a coal miner most of his life. And coal miners and banjo players are very much alike. They're quite often in the dark. Blues and leave a stranded in the shallow. 
my earthly stay is over, sink my dead body in the sea. You can tell my false-hearted lover that the whales will watch over me.